All right, so you have your Godot game and you're ready to export it and you want to put it up on your website, you're going to go to do and you're going to do this. Go to uh, project export uh, HTML5 um, export project. Uh, I already have a folder on my desktop called plant boss and you're just going to see index.html. I recommend keeping it like that. Uh, we'll say save and then we'll go ahead and close. We can close Godot too. We don't need it. And um, we go here, this is my website, and this is what I, when I click this, I want it to go to that link. Um, so I'll, I just have a HostGator website, and then I'm just going to my file manager, and that brings me to my cPanel file manager. And for this site, everything is just HTML. It's just very simple, static, with about five pages. And uh, now that I have my exported project here, all we really need to do is take all of this stuff and put it into a folder here that I'm gonna call game. So I'm gonna say uh, folder, we're gonna call this game. And then I'm gonna go into game and we're going to upload a file. So you can only upload single files, you can't upload folders. So it's gonna be a pain in the ass to upload all these. So what I'm gonna do is go uh, just straight to my desktop and I have the plant boss thing right here We're going to say send to compressed zip folder. We're just going to compress the folder and then upload it as a compressed file and then extract it in the uh, Editor So I think that's done. We'll go select file uh, plant boss zip file uh, Oh, no, sorry, that's the wrong place. Um, we'll go to my desktop and then we're going to say plant boss right there. That's the right one. So that might take a second. All right, now we can go back. So if we go just to show you where we are, we're in the game folder. And then we have this, we click on it and we can uh, right click and say extract. So we'll extract all the files into uh, the game folder. And we'll say close, we'll go up one level and then we'll double click on it to refresh. And we have this plant boss folder and all of our files in here. And we've seen that if we run this, it basically runs our game. So all we need to do is create a link that points to this file right here. So um, this is, we're gonna download our projects.html HTML file and then we're gonna edit it to uh, and we're going to edit this link to link there. So what I'm going to do is go to uh, public HTML. We're going to say projects and then I'll say download. Um, I'm going to open it up. Sorry, I'm going to go to VS Code and I'm going to go to file. Open file and let me go to my downloads and I think it's this one right here. Yes, I trust it. All right. So, um, I did this once before, and that's why there's a link there. But uh, I'll go to johngoss.tech, and let me put this over the side here, and we'll put this right here. Uh, I hate doing this shit, but sometimes you have to. Um, so we're in the game, and then slash, and then where are we at? Uh, plant boss. Plant boss, and then we want to point to index.html. All right, so I'm gonna go ahead and save that. And that's just a copy on my local machine, and now I have to upload that over here. So we'll go up one level, up one level, and we're gonna go to projects.html, and we're just going to delete it. Yes, confirm. And then I'll go, oh, I don't have to do anything. Uh, we're gonna go upload, select file, and downloads. And I know it's this project too. We'll upload it. And then we'll go back. And then we just need to rename this to get rid of that um, two that was generated when I downloaded it. So now we have our projects file ready to go. And if I reload, since that was, this is all live, we'll go to projects. And now if I click on this, our Godot game loads in. So uh, yeah, that's basically it. Um, 
there are a few problems uh, with not with the import or anything, but just from how I coded this game. At first, uh, you don't grab the cursor when you load in, which is important because it's an FPS. So right here, I just kind of have to die. I have no choice. And then this would cover the whole screen, but it doesn't right now. So uh, I'll hit start again. I think this time I actually do grab the cursor, which is cool. And you can press escape to escape your cursor. But it's definitely not optimized. You know, you can see what's going on here. I mean, once you get it playing, once like all the assets have loaded in, it's good. But And basically the way this game works is you just have to uh, kill the boss a little more each time and then upgrade. So we're going to get... So yeah, thanks for sticking around for the video. I am the Average Godot Enjoyer. If uh, this video helped you out, please consider subscribing to the channel because that would really help me out. Or if you have a tutorial that you want or something you want to address uh, around Godot, feel free to leave a comment and I'll try and make a tutorial on that subject. But uh, yeah, thanks for your time. Uh, have a good one.